Well, what's good, eBuggers? Let's do a long term update on this Rattan LM750 next on the channel. So the Rattan's been my daily driver throughout 2022. I've used it uh, the most out of all the bikes I've had. Um, I love the, uh, part of the reason why it's one of my favorites is that color. I love that army green color. Um, it really just uh, makes the bike stand out. I've got over 600 miles on the bike, in fact, 601 to be exact. If you uh, see the uh, odometer right there. This is a 750 watt motor back here. Uh, I've upgraded a bunch of stuff on it, um, and we'll go over that today. But it's been a really good bike. I mean, for I think it's on sale right now for $10.99 on the Retain website, and uh, they have a step through version as well. Um, they even have a pro version out now on the step through version only, where you can, it has a passenger seat in the back and a little uh, back seat as well, or a, a, a back support on it, um, as well as a few other like foot pegs and few other accessories but uh, this rattan here it's been a very good bike for me um, and uh, I have zero complaints about it. it came to me about a year ago so it's been uh, it's been a year now and um, let's walk you through what I've done to the bike and uh, tell you what's new on it starting in the back here we've got a 750 motor of course I put a new uh, Drift Maniac 11 to 28 tooth free wheel on there to improve the overall uh, just gearing um, and uh, that ratio there. So I think the original was 14 to 28. This is 11 to 28 and just makes it a little less close pedaling uh, when you're on the road. Um, I've got a uh, all right, I think it's called all right uh, fishing rod holders uh, locked onto the side here. You can see it's just bolted on essentially. And uh, this is my fishing rig. I take it uh, around town to go fishing when I want to do that. Uh, it originally had a seat back here under the Rock Bros bag, uh, which I took out. And uh, I just put the Rock Bros bag right on top of that, that frame there. Um, I was thinking about putting a rear basket on there, but I uh, haven't pulled the trigger yet. Um, I'm not sure if this would fit well on the basket. Um, if I Put it on now it's going to overhang over these so i got to figure out how it would mount it but uh, at least that's the plan for now i just got the rock rose bag on there and um that's uh it's done well there um okay moving on let's move over to the seat post and the seat of course a suntour ncx uh that's on most of my e-bikes uh nice Suspension seat post there with a uh, just a Velmia seat uh, with memory foam. You can see that there. Comfortable seat. It's got some nice ridges here to keep you in place. It's got a center airflow there, and um, that's a good combination of a uh, uh, seat post and a uh, suspension seat post and a uh, seat. Down here we've got the Xtech uh, hydraulic caliber brakes. I threw on uh, some. Just the army green uh, duct tape over the red, uh, the red piece there, just to match. But uh, yeah, these brakes are pretty solid. Um, that's the one thing I changed. I also have e-bike brake pads on here, which I'll show you in a minute. But uh, uh, there are specially made e-bike brake pads you can get, and uh, my local bike shop put those on for me, uh, and it stops uh, it stops very well now. The brakes are just getting a little bit loose over time, of course. Any e-bike that's a year old definitely needs the brakes adjusted if you haven't done them yet. I've got a little uh, green army caps on there, which I painted to help match the overall look of the bike. Uh, let's move up to the cockpit. Army green uh, cup holder here in the front. Also serves as a good pocket holder if you need to do that. It's got a little mesh lining here. We've got a uh, pro bike bell. Here we got my Michao mirrors, which uh, I love. Had these on the electric uh, 2.0 as well. Uh, put them on the uh, rattan. And the new grips, these are the Ronin grips. I, uh, I uh, slid on uh, rubber 
and on the right side you just cut it in half and it kind of fits the width and you can throw a little end cap on there and uh, you're good to go so it's the army green fishing rig is basically what i call it uh, green machine and uh gotta love it uh, i've got the little key holder down here the lanyard for the keys and um that's about it really um i i painted the end caps there on the uh the wire the wiring um you know the only negative about this bike is the the battery does rattle a bit so i put some just uh cardboard in here on each side just to keep it in place so it doesn't bounce around uh, that's the one thing with these shark style batteries they slide into that pole back here um and uh do move around a little bit so you gotta keep an eye on them here's the e-bike brake pads i was talking about these are sinters they're the uh, blue colored these are organic brake pads and uh, you can buy these on amazon i'll put a link in the description but uh, combined with the uh the new x -Tex on there um really good stopping power and again these are made for e-bikes so uh e-bikes are heavier and i guess these are a little bit you know uh, made just for that so Center is the brand here, and uh, you want to check them out. Oh, I forgot to mention too, in addition to the freewheel, which I changed out, it was rusting back here. The chain was rusting as well, so I did replace the chain on this e-bike. Um, that's the one thing also that was kind of wearing a bit. It was just, it was looking dirty, and uh, the new chain is, it's, it's much nicer now, cleaner, and uh, makes the bike look nice as well. got these pedals here too these are non-slip pedals there's no uh reflector in them but it's just this non-skid surface here yeah i'll throw a link to those in the description as well with a nice touch i think on this bike uh, versus pedals that have those spikes on them the mountain bike style um, these are just flat and uh, i think if you're just an average rider these are a great choice uh, to put in your e-bike that's about it guys um, it's you know it's been a great bike I've, I've kind of beat this bike a lot um i've hit potholes with it uh ran into a few you know sticks and rocks and stuff with it i mean it's it's kind of taken a beating and it's held up well over the last year so i really don't have any complaints about it would i buy it again yeah sure i'd get one um it's uh it's got a 13 amp hour battery down there so it's not too big but in my range test, I did get 40 miles out of it, just in my PS2. Top speed is about 24, 25, something like that. Uh, it does have cruise control on here. So once you just hold it, it's the bike off, yeah. Once you hold it down for a few seconds, it'll just keep going. It's a very good implementation of cruise control on the e-bike versus like the electric XP where I think you have to... Uh, hold it down and press a button somewhere to get the cruise control, which I, so I never use cruise control on the electric XP, but because it's so easy on the rattan, I do use it a lot when I'm riding this bike. So um, that's, uh, that's one of the other pluses of the rattan, I think, overall. I just like the tires and the look of it. Um, this frame is really, I, I, like, I like the frame a lot. And uh, just goes to show that color makes a difference with these e-bikes, right? If you have a cool color, you uh, to me it's a selling point, and uh, you know you'll sell a lot more of these if you can find the right color scheme to take advantage of the market here. So, anyway, just a quick update on the rattan. Uh, again, ten ninety nine right now on sale. Step through version available, and uh, mine has served me well in the past year. So. Uh, Hope you enjoyed that update, and I'll catch you next time on Crisscrossed.